met like... It was love at first sight. It was love at first sight? No, we met like 10 minutes before we started shooting our first scene together. Um, and I heard, I just heard through like wardrobe and like, they're like, like, oh, have you met the girl you're in? Like, no, she's like, oh, she's beautiful and she's like bubbly and this and that. And, Oh, that's so nice of them to say. You never told me that. I know. Okay. I'm saving it for this interview, actually. Okay, great. Yeah, great you gotta timing. space it out, you know? Yeah. You're a little like peppered here and there. <laughs> um, but no, I think we, you know, we. I don't know how they knew we would get along or if they knew, but like, yeah. it just. We don't know the back scene or the, the planification of it, but, yeah. um, you know, everybody was like, he's hot. I don't know. I feel like some part of it still hasn't, like, completely permeated my psyche. Which is maybe a good thing, um, but uh, there was an article that just came out in the, the post where they like said something about me being like a sex symbol, and I was like, "This is so weird." Really? I'm like, "This is so strange." I'm, fu I'm such a goofball. Um, but <laughs> so I, I think that's kind of weird. He's I, a liar. I, I don't know. I don't know. I feel he like was it's, in front of the mirror, like I was just like, yeah. <laughs> no, um, I don't know. I, I, I think you, you got to take that stuff with a grain of salt because I think the day that you start really like. Like believing that to the to the degree that people say it is the day that you're kind of a jerk. I think it mirrors a lot of. Uh, I mean, it's a real relationship too. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I think it mirrors <laughs> a lot of like relationships, sort of outside of prison that you would see in regular life because people in general. I mean, there's that initial phase of relationship when you're like falling in love where everything seems to be going just right and it's like you're this is the perfect match for you and and then some point reality sets in a little bit too and you're like oh the circumstances you know maybe you know anything from like you know this person wants a family sooner than the other person or this person wants to move across the country and wants to live in the suburbs versus the city and there's just all this like other complicated stuff that kind of comes in there and I think through the audience eyes we see their the idealistic version of the relationships we begin with, and then we start to see the complications of it later. I think that the same way where you know, I see their relationship start off not as a as an outside of prison relationship in the sense that they have the freedom of like being in love, being romantic. You know, there's a lot of restrictions when it comes to them, and I think it's more of like not being able to do as they please that has them more attracted to one another at times and I feel that in real life that it's kind of what it is at times when you know you're told not to date somebody but yet you know they're not good for you but you still end up like marrying the person and then later on realizing that's not the person that you were supposed to knowing it from the very beginning so it's like fighting the fighting your own intuition mm -hmm. you know I find it